What's up guys, Nintendo Void here with more World of Tanks subscriber replays for you, daily subscriber replays. Another freaking Cromwell video for you today. I just get a lot of these. It's gotta be the Cromwell. Anyway, what's cool is it's uh, it's a platoon of two Cromwells and how they use their Cromwells is really cool in this one. So, I'm on the Sand River in Standard here, and this is sent to me by Blashki1234, or just Blashk. I think it's Blashki though. Flash, yeah, that's flashy. Anyway, amazing little tank. You're gonna see, <laughs> and he's with vomit. <laughs> Vomiting taco. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. Cool. So let's see what they do here. Really need to watch some more replays. I've run out of ones that I picked that are good. I was actually gonna show you a T54 one. So he's coming up on the hill there. It's a good way to scout, but you know, not that many people come that direction anymore. A lot of them will go up over on uh, 0 and 9 and go around. Nobody really goes up through the middle, really. I think because they, uh, they can get surrounded because people can go through 9 0 now. That used to be like a big spot where people would fight, but since the 9 0 thing where you can kind of go around, there's really almost no point to fight right there. It really stinks because I loved fighting in that spot. It was a great spot for heavies. So, Flash E and Vomit climbing the hill here. Go in the back route, like I was saying. Usually, you're gonna see some people right here. They see nobody. Lucky dogs. Well, this is a tier six match, so I guess it wouldn't be that bad. If they saw somebody. So, still not seeing anybody. There's a Churchill. The ELC is already scouted all the way down, so they know they're good. You can see the ELC going into the base. This is really bad positioning for the enemy team. I don't know what they're doing. Hopefully, they have more people in base. It looks like everybody went the JK lines down there. So he's getting hit a couple times here by this church, or just once it looks like so far. But he's circling him now, way too wide of a circle. He gets hit again, he needs to get a tighter circle going. So he tracks him, which is nice. Vomit's back there, is he shooting him yet? I think Vomit's shooting him too. He's locked onto him right now. But he keeps tracking him, that's because the tracks on this thing are so damn huge. Yeah, Vomit's hitting him now too, I think. Boom, and he's dead. Gets caught on fire, Vomit, vomit gets the kill. So, that wasn't all that impressive, not that huge, big of a deal. It's really just a circling by Cromwell. But the rest of this video, or the rest of this replay is pretty amazing. So they're coming into the base. First of all, the enemy has horrible positioning, okay? Nobody went this direction. So now, this is what's gonna happen to you if you don't put anybody on this side. They got nobody in base. Already you're jamming out, because they know that people are coming. A couple 30, 304s there. So the 30, 30 zero 01 didn't get out of base quick enough. He's getting shot in the ass. <laughs> and he's trying, I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's trying to just escape. And here's, here we go, jump shot. Oh, not close enough for the ram kill. That'd have been so amazing. And there comes Vomit in again with the kill. Oh, here comes a, a Hetzer. He's just barreling at him. What is he doing? He rams him. And Blashki getting some damage here on him just from <laughs> random stupidness. Now, this isn't really like a super tactical game or anything. I just thought it was hilarious. So he's locked onto him right now. ELC is even driving crazy on this guy. Drives around him. Totally distracting him. There's the other 304. I gotta be careful. And, oh, boom, the 304 kills the ELC. Now, here's where they do kind of a double teaming circling. That's really awesome. You got to watch that. So, Blashki and Vomit, five kills each. Enemy team getting pretty hammered here. They're already into the friendly base, though, but we got a couple of the TDs holding the back, and we got, you know, some RD, but mainly TDs. So, we got a 30. Zero one there. The Nashorn should be close by. I guess they're probably looking for him. So it's an even match still right now, even though the enemy team really failed. But it's about to get become a lot less even here. It's about to become really, really not even. <laughs> so it takes them a while to get over here. But they're finally, hopefully, catching up. See, the Nashorn is bugged out. He's not at J4 like it says on the map. There he is. Vomit spots him. So, he should have came in a little earlier. Blashki should have came in a little earlier. But here's that double circling I was talking about. And there we go. Boom. He's dead. 
And now, it's pretty much like shooting the duck. Oh man, nice shot by Vomiting Taco on that 30-01. Nice shot. So I got seven kills already apiece. I mean total. 36-01, really crippled here. The Nash Orange is working him. Looks like the Nash Orange dropped down so he wouldn't die. Here's that double circling again. Boom, he's dead. I mean, two Cromwells on a single tank, you're dead, dude. You just get out of here. And that's the game. Eight kills for these guys. Really great game, guys. Good job. I mean, not nothing super tactical. It's just the way the, the Cromwell's already a beast. But using the double Cromwells like that to do that circling in different directions, genius, you know? Uh, if you can get one guy to kind of track him, that's even better. But, the you know, the Cromwell gun, not great for tracking. Anyway, uh, stay tuned tomorrow, hopefully, for another one of these. I need to watch some more replays. I'm kind of running out. And as always, stay frosty, guys.